I now need to create a cut. I want to display shaded with edges. On a smaller screen, these horizontal double arrows allow you to expand and see more options on the toolbar. Click Shaded. An extruded cut removes material. I'm going to press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window. That zooms in as full as it can get. I need my feature, Extruded Cut. I click the Sketch Plane. And now, click Circle. Sketch a circle. I want to see the circle straight on, and I'm going to select Normal to View. This creates, rotates the sketch perpendicular to the screen and the part turns to face to you. Notice that the circle is not centered with my original boss. I need to dimension and add relations. First to dimension, I click on Smart Dimension, select the circumference of the circle, click a position. To add a relationship, I'm going to expand the sketch toolbar, click Add Relation, click the center point of the circle, click the circumference of the outside circular boss edge, and click Concentric. Now my circle is defined with, with a relation to the original boss. The circle is displayed in black and fully defined is the status on the sketch. I'm happy with this relationship, so I click OK. Click Next in the tutorial. Click Exit Sketch to create the extruded cut. Instead of a blind depth, I'm going to select Through All. Through All causes the cut to go through all entities, all geometry. Look at the preview by rotating your middle mouse button and click OK. Does your picture match the online tutorials? If not, use the back key to go back a step and repeat. To display a trimetric view, expand custom and click on trimetric. Save the model. It's a good idea to save the model after each feature. Click Next. In the Next option, we'll use the Options tab to set hidden edges displayed as solid. In the Display Selections option, hidden edges are displayed as dashed, but if I click on Solid, hidden edges will be displayed solid. Also, for part and assembly, tangent edges can be displayed as visible versus removed. As visible will show a tangent edge versus no edge. Click OK from the System Options dialog box. The next feature that I'm going to create is the fillet feature. The fillet feature requires edges or faces. I will click the first left corner. Notice how I just select the small edge. Hold the control key down and select the other four edges. I need to rotate the part to select the back edge. Now all four edges are selected. Click Fillet. Enter 10 for fillet size. If you did not select an edge correctly, you can right-click and clear selections and select the edges again. Click OK to create the fillets. Remember how we set tangent edge visible? This edge is the result for tangent edge visible. Click Next.